Hello and welcome. Today I want to walk through how to make this part. So we are going to use these dimensions to be able to make the part. I want to point out here that the Q13 is diameter. But distance from here to here will be 6.5 because it will be radius. So I already created a document, pinion mount. So I'm going to work on the front view. I just click the front and the sketch. And then I'm going to click the front on the cube. I'm going to use the construction line first. So I'm going to click the line and the construction. And I'm going to draw a line. And click the escape. By the way, we forgot to change the unit so that's why i need to go to document menu and the workspace units make sure the change from inch to millimeter and it will be two decimal points degree two decimal point pound is going to be gram and two decimal points and say check mark okay and we want to go back to our sketch so we need to double click the sketch one here now I draw the construction line here. So this is going to be our revolving axis. So let's draw the sketch. I click the line tool and I'm just drawing the shape approximately. I will add the dimensions later. Okay, now the object is drawn. Now let's add the dimensions. I'm going to click the dimension tool here. So the distance here is 30 millimeter. This part is 10 millimeter. Distance from here to here is 37. Distance from here to end will be 70 millimeter. And distance, the height here will be 20 millimeter. And distance from here to here, that's the important part, will be 6.5. 6.5 now it is completed the sketch turns to completely black it means fully defined or fully constrained i'm gonna click the end sketch now i'm gonna start the revolve tool click the revolve and choose the sketch entity now we choose the revolve axis i just click the revolve axis and i'm gonna click the construction line that i draw now it makes the revolving so i'm gonna click the ok so the first part is completed now just zoom in and we need to draw something else here and remove so i just click the this part click the sketch and Click the end button on the keyboard so the sketch will face towards to you. So I'm going to use the center point circle first. And then I'm going to use the line tool. Draw a horizontal line. Like that. So this part is completed. Now I'm going to use the trim tool. So I'm going to trim the this part because I don't need it. Now let's add some dimensions. So the color is supposed to turn the black. So the radius of this part will be 15. And the height from here to here is supposed to be 12 millimeters. Now we completed this part fully defined and sketch. Now we're going to click the extrude and we're going to choose this geometry that we just made it. 
and will be removed 25 millimeter and we're gonna click OK and click the isometric so the part is completed so the final step we are gonna assign material right click on the part one assign material we are gonna choose carbon steel and say OK complete it so we are gonna just check it if it is correct or not we need to click the display properties and choose the part one if you can see 444.12 gram it means it is correct have a good day